Hey there, trumpet players. Welcome to the next section of our song, Dragon Slayer. We're going to be looking at measures 19 to 27. And in this case, you have uh, a little bit easier section in the fact that we only play for four measures of that. So we're going to really be focusing on uh, four measures of 23, 24, 25, and 26. When we look at this piece of music, we need to keep in mind a few things. Uh, the symbols that happen at the left hand side of our screen include our treble clef, but also this hashtag uh, sharp sign, which tells us that all of the F's that we play are going to be played as F sharp. You might have learned that regular F with first finger down sounds like that. F sharp, we flip our first finger for our middle finger and push the second bell down which is just this much higher. With that in mind, anytime we see an F or an F or an F, we're going to play F sharp with our middle finger down. Hey, take a look. We've got the notes E, F, G, E, F, and D. In this case, we have the same pattern repeated. Uh, oh, it's different the second time. We're going to take a look in two measures at a time. 23 and 24. I don't know if you're familiar with this. It sounds like something I've heard on the piano. Um, we're going to take a look. 23. E, 1 and 2. F, sharp. Second finger. G is open, E1 and 2 again. The note that hangs at the bottom is D, and then we'll return to their starting pitch, which is E. Play along with me. Here we go. Measure 23 and 24. Ready, go. able to get those notes coming out cleanly or uh, consistently, I would ask for you to uh, slap the pause button, rewind, and go back uh, and review this uh, maybe a little bit uh, before we move on to the next section. In the next section, we're looking at measures 25 and 26. At measure 25, we start with the same kind of pattern. These first three notes are the same, but we continue to go further up. And in this case, we get to the note A, which is the highest note that we know so far. The note A includes uh, fingerings, fingering one and two. But wait a second, Mr. Larson, we said that the note, the fingering for one and two was the note E. And in this case, yes, the starting note of measure 25 and the ending note of measure 25 are the same pitch. I'm going to give you a quick uh, tip, hint, and practice trick to uh, develop and distinguish the notes that have the same finger. E, we start here. Let's play the note A with the same finger. I'm going to energize my corners of my lips a little bit and add a little bit extra air to play the note A. Again, E. Then the note A. Now I'm going to encourage you to start off by alternating between those two notes slowly and gradually increasing how fast you can play it between them. Point of practice. Same fingering, two different notes. We're going to take a look now, 25 and 26. Let's play E, F, G, A, F sharp, D, E. Sounds like this. We are going to play, play along with me this time. Here it is.
Okay. Again, 25, 26. One, two, ready, go. Let's see about learning this section. One, two, twenty-three, and go. Did you nail it? If not, let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. for you yet. I want you to hit pause and rewind. Go back and uh, review a little bit before uh, trying to play along with me again. Uh, I hope that this has been a helpful point of practice for you. I'll give you some hints, tips, tricks, and uh, hacks for playing the trumpet on Dragon Slayer measures 19 to 27. Good luck. Get in touch if you have some troubles and do it.